As hip-hop celebrities a half century, the contributions of two female rappers are impossible to ignore. Salt and Pepper, now the Trailblazers, are reflecting on their legacy and the obstacles they overcame. Here's Tamron Hall. Baby, baby. They're rap royalty, pushing it. For almost four decades, Cheryl Salt James and Sandra Peppa Denton, known, of course, as Salt and Peppa, unafraid to get real with hits like Let's Talk About Sex. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's They're a cultural force, icons in music, giving us an exclusive look into their lives and legacies as we approach a hip-hop milestone. To celebrate the 58th, anniversary for hip-hop is amazing yeah. and for us who had a it's such a male-dominated field and had a hard time because mm -hmm. we were such a you know popular crossing over selling millions and um they gave us a hard time you know say we were too pop you too know pop. too pop which <laughs> too is sexy. too sexy too sexy yeah. to everything oh, yeah and what you always say we brought what to the game fun fashion and femininity with over 12 million records and albums sold, these trailblazers have paved the way for women. They're the first female rap group to ever go platinum, nominated for five Grammy Awards, winning one in 1995 and receiving a Lifetime Achievement Grammy in 2021. Even getting a star on the Walk of Fame last year. Talk to me about that over the years of what you had to bring to beat the odds. Excellence, like consistency, um, being authentic, uh, reinventing ourselves, being innovative. What was the biggest reinvention from the? So you come shoot, out. That shoot, shoot, look, shoot was a big reinvention. Yes. You made me want to shoot. Shoot, of course, was their hit single back in 1993. That was a reinvention for that video for us. We were feeling ourselves. So this is one of our great um, reinventions. Plus, the song Shoop is a song that Pep brought to me and we wrote together. It was a first song on the Very Necessary album. And I co-produced. We had to fight to get that song what was to that be fight the first. Like it was with the record company. Like, yeah. just not respecting what we thought about our own careers. We thought, we knew this was a great song and it should kick off that album. But Shake Your Thing, 1988, the ripped up jeans. Okay, come on, let's talk about that. Let's talk mm. about it. Shake that thing, come on, y'all. Shake it, we could get loose. Oh, we can't get naked. It's not a crime, it's Let's rip the jeans up. We ripping our jeans up. Come on, you seen ripped up jeans before, though? Mm. Nobody. Thank you. And we was ripping our jeans up. With a razor blade. And, and now and then watching like it and it. Boy, way kids. more than that, girl. Their influence inspiring the fashion of that era, but also new generations of female performers. The generation now filling in the gap. And that's what's good, yeah. you know, to keep it pushing and keep it going and understanding the history. How this great music has evolved globally, culturally, products across the board and all kinds of music, rock and roll, country, fashion. fashion. The duo say they refused to give up despite the challenges women in hip hop faced at the time. Going back Ooh. to those days, you are on stage, you're expected to be sexy and you also want to be mom. Well, oh, it was a challenge. Yeah, we had bassinets in the back of the tour bus a lot of days. Yeah bringing nannies on the road, bringing curriculums on the road, um, and missing them because sometimes, you know, you can't take, can't them, take them with us all the time. Even now, women are told if you have a child, you can't have a career or you can't have it all. Or certainly, <laughs> you, I'm sure you experienced that. Yes, we wanted to be moms and we was moms. <laughs> and we said we can do it. And we took whatever came my way, I handled it which was taking the good with the bad. I don't think I've ever said this out loud. Ooh, Tamron. <gasps> I honored. was actually asked to have an abortion. I won't say by who, but um, to your point, yeah. Like, you just have to know that it's something that you're capable of, of handling. If you want a kid and you want to have a career, and it's mm -hmm. definitely harder. In a world that so many things can be manufactured, there was nothing about hip hop that was manufactured, and there was nothing no. that was manufactured about the group. We yes. knew as women in this business that we were going to be standing up against some amazing, great men who control this industry. And we always had to bring it hard on stage, 
in rehearsal, putting our shows together, putting our looks together, our oh, videos, yeah, our everything. ideas. We knew it had to be a, a Heck, step yeah. above. These days, it's family and multiple projects, including a tour, keeping Salt and Peppa busy. I'm being a little selfish right now, and it feels <laughs> great validating myself. I was one of those kind of people-pleasing persons that always like, why don't you like me? Why don't you love me? And it's like, you can like and love yourself. You mm. don't need to be validated by other people. I feel like a self-help book or something <laughs> is in the works here. Let's get that. But in the middle of feeling you're, right. right. you're not the God's <laughs> evil. So, yes. It's all self-help, and together you're yes. still touring. Yes. Yes. So it sounds like we're in the keeping it moving, yes. keeping yes. it growing, yeah. keeping it positive state. Yes. Yeah, making that brand work yeah. for us. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.